So I bring in all the wishes and greetings from uh, all the faculty members of uh, Speed Institute uh, to Dr. Anirudh Gupta uh, for scoring a topmost rank in any SS 2022 and rank number eight and the specialty of uh, DM hepatology. Best wishes to you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Doctor, can we know uh, something about your background, where you're coming from and how uh, things are about so far? And uh, can you brief uh, uh, a brief history on yourself? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, sir I, I started my MBBS in 2013 uh, from University College of Medical Sciences, New Delhi. Uh, I graduated in 2018 and I joined uh, MD Medicine the same year. Uh, I did my MD Medicine from LLRM Medical College here at uh, Government Medical College. And I'm still currently pursuing my MD Medicine. I have my exams next month. Uh, so I, this was my first attempt at any competitive exam uh, for SS. And I'm really thankful to Speed for helping me achieve a rank during my final year itself. So uh, I think that is some uh, great feeling because before completed, before getting completed and uh, to have the seat next on go, uh, something is phenomenal and not even a waste of a single day. <laughs> Let's hope that I will to get a seat. Otherwise, I will be preparing for need as uh, well. Very nice. So uh, can you brief uh, on us, I mean, how you started, when you started, and who recommended uh, Speed to you and how you used uh, this learning tool and uh, overall, wh what was your preparation strategy? <laughs> Sir, our residency was hampered by COVID a lot. Uh, so the whole second year was uh, wasted in COVID, I can say. But uh, since the last one year, uh, after the second wave, after June, uh, I started thinking about the SS. So I uh, joined the Speed. Uh, one of my seniors got selected last year itself, Dr. Pujh Mishra. Uh, he only recommended Speed. So I joined Speed, sir. And sir, Speed has a lot of comprehensive information about all these subspecialties. Sir, I had a special inclination towards gastroenterology and hepatology. And uh, even in hepatology, the content in Speed is quite a lot. So Dr. Darshan has covered uh, the hepatology part in great detail. He has covered the whole Selzinger and Cotter book almost page by page. And mm. Each and every table and uh, everything has been covered very thoroughly. And uh, I would like to specially thank Dr. Sir for his Harrison based uh, revisions because uh, the paper, the pattern, it was more towards the Harrison. Uh, it was not, uh, uh, the concepts were not tasked in depth. It was mostly basics and uh, the Harrison uh, discussion, which I saw in the last one month in April, uh, it was really useful. Okay. So, I mean, how many hours you are able to dedicate uh, per day? Because as you are in residency right now, I mean, how many hours did you spend per day? Were you able to attend those live classes which are happening on weekly basis and daily basis? And were you working out some MCQs and grant tests? How, how, how things are going on on your end? So, sir, uh, sir, because of a full-time uh, sir, course, so third-year course, sir, uh, so, sir, uh, we had our own case presentations and seminars as well to prepare and attend. So, I was only able to devote, sir, two to three hours of regular studies for the first six months. It was only in the last two months that I was able to dedicate uh, around four to six hours yeah. of study, with the last week being 12 hours of study. Uh, so, sir, uh, sir, live classes, uh, I was not able to attend. Uh, I'll, I'll have to be frank with that. But the recorded sessions, uh, especially the hepatology part and the Harrison base, I tried to cover most of them. And uh, the test papers were very helpful. Uh, the grand tests as well as the subject-wise tests. Uh, in 2022, in the last two, three months, uh, I did try to give a test every week. And uh, eventually in the exam, I'm, I'm really grateful to speak that they were very helpful. So, so it was, I mean, I want to ask you, was the, was the, your preparation and the content in the app was matching for the requirement of the exam? I want an honest feedback from you. Uh, yes, sir. So for the speciality, uh, for hepatology, I would say around 90% questions were already covered uh, in the lectures as well as the uh, content. Uh, it was only on my part that my general preparation was not up to the mark because I was not able to devote as much time. In hepatology section, I have been able to score 75% above marks 
it's the general section where i was lacking i have only got around 50 percent marks which i am aiming to improve for the tests for next month so are you are you planning to give neat tests as well uh, yes sir sir because i am not very sure that i'll be able to get a seat uh, because there are only three seats sir in the dfi pathology so i am planning to give uh, neat tests with a view on gastroenterology and pathology and uh, i mean i i mean I, i wish and also pray that you get in this session itself hope the other uh, few people select in the other branches of uh, their options in case they could have names or something else but anyway i wish you uh, a great success in this uh, counseling itself and also you are in the firing mode actually <laughs> you are very much in the <laughs> firing range and you are in the very within the target the people will say for an exam there is a target and once you start falling into the target and the uh, hitting the bull's eye is the question of time so now uh, almost you are in that range and need ss also definitely you will be uh, within rank number 1 or rank number 2 or rank number 3 it will fall within the range of that and uh, so definitely it's going to happen advance wishes to you thank you so much sir so your motivation lectures have always always on the whole year your motivation lectures have been really- yeah we uh, yeah been that that will keep make us keep going and we always believe uh, that it has to be the updation has to be on a daily basis that is the motto of uh, uh, speed that uh, the students should learn fresh things new things and they should keep moving and also make sure that move on the up in the ladder in the medical career thank you so much sir thank you so much for the i am uh, again thanking dr darshan dr all the teachers at speed for uh, helping me and achieving this best wishes to you dr uh, gupta and i wish you all the best and all the success can my my uh, best wishes to all your family members friends and relatives and keep going best wishes to you in your career sure thank you sir thank, thank you, you. Thank you.